I don't, I, I try not to do a cover that gets us into trouble all the time. It was so great to feel that a magazine really touched you and could talk to you about things that your parents weren't talking to you about. I personally detest Cosmo. I think it's disgraceful. Life magazine was this sort of cultural passport to the world for most Americans. Hemingway needed a new boat. And so, as long as Gingrich could pay him enough that he could make a down payment on his new boat, he was willing to write something that turned out to be Snows of Kilimanjaro. I mean, it's, it was, that was just the currency of the time. You know, people, consumers, magazine readers expected stories from, from writers. Some of them happened to be great. The people who came together to found Ms. Uh, were not editorial people. Mainly they were from the women's movement. A lot were from the civil rights movement. Uh, a lot were rebels of all kinds. Well, I will tell you a story that Jet broke that was a very, um, it was a very despairing story, but it was the beating of Emmett Till. He was a young boy in the South who was beat because they thought he whistled at a white woman. And Jet covered that because his mother reached out to us and said, I want you to print the photos of what they've done to my son after his demise, because no one can imagine that you could ever do this to a child. And we covered that story, no one else did. Part of what the Playboy magazine did was, I believe, really sort of brought what I would consider pornography into the mainstream of American life. First issue, 1953, Marilyn Monroe. Gorgeous woman, great body, completely nude as the centerfold for um, Playboy magazine. As she said afterward, I had nothing on but the radio. And this wasn't considered like a sleazy or a second-rate magazine, but this was a slick really sort of classy magazine. I think if you look at the tale of the 20th century, it's that free market capitalism triumphed over great adversaries, be it communism or Nazism or other systems. And how does that work? It works through the free flow of information. So that if people can be inspired by other people, if they can know what's happening around them, if you don't have a total control of the information, but people are empowered by information, you're going to get free markets and free minds, which is what this system is all about. And magazines throughout the century, throughout the world, help spread ideas.